Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of Enrichment, where we talk to small business owners and entrepreneurs on strategies and best practices. Although small businesses are often at a disadvantage when competing with their bigger competitors, they can have one advantage. They can always be smarter than they are. So let's get right to it. This week, our subject is bewilderment. Daniel Boone, American pioneer and frontiersman, once said, I have never been lost, but I was bewildered for about three days. Now, on the surface, this would appear to be a funny anecdote meant to be a little self-deprecating while protecting his reputation as an unparalleled woodsman. However Boone meant it, if we dig a little deeper, his quote, hold some lessons that we as business people can take to heart and learn from. If you've ever been lost, truly lost, it's frightening. It's a helpless feeling. The word loss means being unable to find one's way or not knowing one's whereabouts. To have lost something means it's been taken away or is beyond reach and can't be found. On the other hand, being bewildered is something different. As defined by the Cambridge Dictionary, bewilderment means confused and uncertain. Now, there's a world of difference between being lost and being bewildered. If you're lost in your business, it means you don't know where you are, and therefore you don't know where you're going or even what direction you should take. Expert advice says, if you're lost, you need to stop and rest before you're exhausted. You can't make decisions or move with certainty if your physical and mental energies are depleted. The simple act of stepping away from the feeling and fixing your attention on something else can allow you to gain better focus when you get back to it. Amber Murphy, writing in Declutter the Mind, provides several suggestions to consider when we're feeling lost. Number one, accept that it's okay. Recognize that if you're feeling lost, it's a clear sign that you need to make some changes. Number two, don't develop a victim mindset. The world is not out to get you. Number three, focus on your strengths and your capabilities and not on your perceived imperfections and weaknesses. Four, recognize what it is you don't know and devise a plan to fix that. Number five, change your environment. Sitting still in the same place simply reinforces the way you're feeling. And finally, she says, take action. After you've stepped back from the edge and you've refocused on where you truly are, use this new insight to chart your way out of the wilderness. However, if you're simply bewildered, like Daniel Boone, you have the means to figure out where you are and what your next steps will be. You need to use your experience, your successes, and your failures as guideposts to bring you back to the trail. And don't forget that you have friends and associates who have likely traveled the same path and stepped off the trail themselves. So don't hesitate to seek them out and use them as your compass to find your way. Now, here's a quote by Nathaniel Hawthorne, author of The Scarlet Letter and The House of Seven Gables, among many other works, that I think we should all consider. He said, no man for any considerable period can wear one face to himself and another to the multitude without finally getting bewildered as to which may be true something to think about. Well, hey, I hope you found that useful. If you'd like to further discuss anything regarding this topic or any small business strategy, reach out to me at rich at speakingofsuccess.us. I'd love to talk. Just use my calendar to schedule a time that's most convenient for you, and I'll see you next week. Take care, everyone. Bye.